Valley Judo or MMA or self-defense, right? All kind of basically the same thing. It's basically dealing it with an environment where strikes are involved. And so that's the thing I've been trying to, to teach people. I use the exact same defense. The reason is this. You guys will all watch the UFC, yeah? And you guys see. A lot of times what happens when people get mounted, they think the best option for them is to do this. So two things happen. One, the guy gets a high mount, good. Already I lose my ability to take him off balance. But two, this does not, this defense does not exist, okay? If you just touch my face, just try to touch my face. Can you touch my face? So there's no way that I can put my hands anywhere where I can avoid being hit. If he has his balance, it doesn't matter where I put my hands here, he's gonna, yes. If I do this, he's gonna hit me. If I do this. So you've seen even Vitor Belfort, right? He got uh, the last couple, I think two fights with uh, Jacare, he got pounded pretty bad. And then I get think against, was it, was it Chris Weidman or, or Rob? He got, he got, yeah, destroyed. And then Weidman got destroyed from the mount from Luke Rockhold, right? Basically trying to defend by doing this. So putting your hands up, even though it's kind of instinctual, we want to put our hands up in the environment where strikes are involved, this doesn't keep you safe. It makes things worse by putting your hands up. By me putting my hands up, one, he, he walks his hips, his knees up. Now my hip has zero effect on him. Right? And now he has all the balance in the world and he, now he can sit up and just rain down strikes. And these are very, very heavy strikes when he has this distance, okay? So, when I lift my hip, okay, so if this is from here, do you feel you have any good strikes available? Maybe to the top of my head, right? But it's not the same as if you're hitting from here. The angle is much different. He doesn't have the same amount of, of the angle changes and the distance changes, right? For, the, for being effective with strikes. And so, for, when I'm dealing with a, an environment where strikes are involved, first thing I do is I lift my hip, okay? Now, anytime he reaches to try to touch my face, touch my face with you, touch my face. Anytime he reaches his hand off the ground, all I'm gonna do is bump him towards his hand. So that's the first thing that we can play with a little bit, is he takes his hand off the ground, as soon as I bump him in this direction, his hand has to go back on the ground or he's gonna fall, right? So by keeping my hips up, elbows down, hips up, every time he picks his hand off the ground, I just bump. Okay? So this is what I use to keep me safe, right? And then, eventually, when he picks his hand up, hand up, now touch my face. So what I do is I go with a monkey hand behind his arm so he can't pull his arm back, right? And now touch my face, and I use my elbow to prevent him from touching my face. Okay? Can you take this hand off the ground? No, without getting swept. Okay. And so, just play around, guys, with understanding how to use this bump. It's just a very subtle movement. It's just a very a quick jolt, okay? So first things first is, I want you guys just to lift the hip up. And just feel, if I feel like I'm in danger, a lot of danger, I can just glue my head here, and that changes things. Right? At least I've not, there's not really big elbows. Maybe he can try to throw a punch, but most of the punches are gonna be on the top of the head, which is, doesn't have as much damage as here hitting me in the face. At least my face is a little bit protected, right? But also, anytime I feel him lift his hand off the ground, right, I just do a little bump. Right, you feel it's hard to touch my face? Yeah. And then if he reaches his hand really far back, right, boom, touch my face. So now he can't touch. You guys see how I move? And he kind of switched his position because he didn't want to roll over his fingers. And then here. And then boom! Right, big headbutt. 